When making your video, you have three main things to look at. The bottom left of the screen is where you find all of the video and music files on your computer. You then drag them into the timeline at the top of the screen. In this bit of the screen, you edit the video. You can see what the video is going to look like in the preview section at the bottom right of the screen. That's all there is to it really. I'll just show you an example. Before we begin, I would like to recommend putting all of the video and music clips you need into one folder. For instance, I've put it all into one folder on my desktop. It's called My Clips and inside I have my song that I want to put with the video, my video and something else. Now, go to Start, go to Vega 7 or whatever you've got. Uh, 6 and 8 are likely to be similar to Vega 7. So once it's loaded up, find the folder with all your stuff in. Now, if you put some more things in there, since you loaded Sony Vegas up, they might not be showing up. So click on the refresh button, because this refreshes the folder and everything in it. It's very useful. Now, I'm going to drag this video file up onto the timeline by holding down the mouse button, then letting go. There's my video. I can click below this on the empty bit of the timeline, and I can see certain bits of the video. I can play the video by clicking play and it will show the video in the little preview box. And that's it. You can now change the video length by getting rid of the end and beginning. To do this, you move your mouse over the very end or beginning of the video and you'll see it change to this sort of symbol. And then you hold down mouse button and drag it and it will delete the beginning of the video. You can get it back again by dragging it out again. If you want to zoom in and out of your video, you can with the scroll button. It's useful if you want to edit just a very small bit off the beginning of the video. And that's about all you need to know about editing videos. You can add fades by going up to the top right and top left bit of the video. It will change to this little icon. From here you can change the, the time it fades through. So as you can see here, it kind of fades in. If you want it to fade between two different videos, you get another video, I'm just using the same one, and you smear them together like that. And where they overlap, that's where they fade between each other. Now it slows down a bit in the preview because it's got to do it in real time, but it won't slow down in the video itself because you'll be rendering it and it, it, it'll just work. Anyway, here's my video that I've made. I want to add some music to it. So I get the music file and drag it in to another timeline bit below. This will make another channel. This is just for music. This is the sound of my video and this is the video of my video. Now at the moment I'll have the music playing and the sound in the video. You might want that, but if you, if you don't want the sound in the video and you only want the music, you can click on this button here and it will mute it. This will work for any channel, you can do it with videos as well, so you don't see the video. I don't know why you'd want to do that. So here's the, here's the thing now. So if I play it now you'll only hear the music and you'll only see the video and there won't be any sounds of me catching the balls or anything. Once I'm happy with what the video looks like, I select the bit of the video I want to render. So for this it'll be from the beginning of the video to the end. Now for this you have to move your mouse over this little blank bit of the screen here, anywhere along here, and you drag the mouse button. And any bit in between these two pointers will be rendered. So I'm going to select the video. There. Once this is done, I go up to File, then click Render As. This will now render the video in the new file format. I recommend, uh, well, type in a name, so this one will just be juggling, and then save as type, and there's a big load of file types. I recommend using Windows Media Video V9. You can change the, the quality of the video. For instance, if you've just got a normal camera, I recommend 256 or 512 kilobits per second. For larger videos, 640 by 480 resolution, I recommend 3 megabits per second. If you want high definition videos for YouTube and stuff, I recommend using uh, these settings. These are all at the same resolution but at different frame rates, although for videos I think that 24 is okay, so I tend to use this because it makes the file smaller and it takes less time to render. So you choose the video type you want and then click save. If you find that the whole video is still being rendered, 
then the chances are that you haven't got this ticked. Render loop region only. Because if this is deselected, it will render the whole video, including anything that isn't selected. If you want just the bit that you've selected, which you probably do, you tick this box. You then click save and it will render the video.